Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and this is going to be a quick overview of the peak performance power station that you see here in front of you. Now, this is a really good item for everybody to have, regardless if you're into prepping or not, um, you know, whatever your lifestyle is or anything like that, just because um, anybody can actually get some good usage out of this. Now, if you guys have never seen one of these, uh, this is basically a small package that includes a lot of different power options for a lot of different circumstances and situations. So basically this is designed by a company called Peak Performance and I don't know if you guys can see the logo right there. And what it is, it's uh, it's got 700 peak amps and it's called the Power Station Plus. So obviously, you know, from the from the front you see here's uh, where all your gadgets and buttons and gauges and all that would be. Uh, it's got a carry handle on the top right here, and it's got this rubberized uh, portion, which is makes it really good to carry, uh, especially if it's wet or anything like that. The actual unit probably weighs around, uh, I would say, about 7 pounds, 7 to 10 pounds, so it's not heavy at all. Uh, it's very, very portable. Uh, it probably measures um, about 12 inches uh, from here to here. Uh, the depth on it is about 8 inches and including the handle is probably about another 12 inches high. So it's very compact so it'll fit you know, in a trunk, it'll fit behind a car seat, uh, just anywhere where you would normally need it. Now I normally carry this in my vehicle uh, just because it has a lot of different options that I would need and have actually had to use um, in the past and I was glad that I had it. It also has um, you know, this rubberized it, it kind of follows through uh, along the corners, so if you were to bump it or anything like that, it's not going to damage it. So let me just go around and show you, um, you know, all what it has. Uh, in the top left corner right here, it actually gives you the um, the charge of the particular, um, you know, device. So if you hit this button right here, see it says battery status button. You hit that button. And you'll see this gauge move up, so it'll tell you, you know, how many uh, volts are are remaining in there. So I have about 13 volts on that. Now this right here is, uh, it's a button that you can actually, it's it's more of a stopper. You can remove that, and what it is, it's a low charge um, alert. And what it happens is, when this um, unit goes into the red, it'll actually be an audible alert. So if you have it in your trunk. You know, let's say you don't use it for a while, this will start beeping and it'll let you know that you need to recharge it. On the right side over here, you have your PSI gauge. So, uh, you know, if you're using the uh, inflator or anything like that, it'll show you uh, the air, air pressure. It'll show you what, um, you know, what PSI you're at. Down here on either side, it's got a 12 volt uh, power source. So basically, you open this up and, you know, if you have a uh, car charger, for a cell phone or or anything that that runs on a car charger you can actually plug that right in there and it's got one on each side and then in the middle right here it's got an AC outlet so if you have something that runs on a regular home charger you can actually plug that right in there and then one more it has um, right down here uh, it has a USB port so if you have something that uh, you know connects USB to charge then you could charge it right there now they do sell an auxiliary jack for this to charge it at home and that's what this would be plug it in there and then it charges the actual unit um, you know by plugging it into the wall uh, so right here this button right here what it does is if you flick it to the left it'll uh, turn on the USB charger if you flick it to the right it'll turn on the AC outlet uh, so you can use that to charge right in the middle right here it's got a work light and that's what this button does it it'll actually turn that work light on and it's uh three leds it's very bright so if you have to uh you know inflate your tire at night or something like that then you know it's good to have that you know and then um right here is to turn on the inflator or the air pressure system all right so those are all the controls in the front uh if you rotate it till to the side right here it's got a cap that you actually pull down and in here, it's got the hose, uh, so you can connect, you know, to a tire, or if you want to inflate a basketball or something like that. And that's where the uh, to to use the air pressure. And then it also brings this little baggie with a couple different uh, adapters, you know, needles and whatnot to uh, to inflate different things. Okay. On the back right here, you have uh, the jumper cable portion. So obviously, you got your green and your I'm sorry, your red and your black. Connect that to your uh, battery 
and then you turn it on right here and it'll actually give your car a quick jump start so if, uh, if there's nobody around or you don't have jumper cables and you need to you know your battery's dead you can just hook this up and you know you're ready to go and this is actually um, one of the most features that I've used on this particular um, unit uh, I've already had to jump start a couple of vehicles with this and it works just great and then on the other side right here it's got your charging option so basically the way that this would charge if you don't have the um, AC adapter to charge it because again it is an extra charge basically what you can do is just connect any uh, extension cord so if you have one of those orange extension cords just connect it to here and then that connects directly to the wall and you're ready to go you're ready to start charging it uh, it normally takes about 24 hours to fully charge this if your um, if your battery is completely dead uh, they normally recommend you give it at least 30 hour charge so about a day and a half to completely charge the unit back up if it's completely dead so that's not bad it's just uh, you know you should always keep that in mind again if you press the button it'll let you know where your charge is uh, so if you see that it you know falls um, maybe within the yellow you know maybe it's time to start charging it and you know you're good to go just connect it and you you know leave it there for about a day and a half to charge now the good thing about this is that it's very affordable I believe this unit uh, was about sixty five dollars so you know for all the features that it brings is uh, it's pretty good now there are you know hundreds of these out there in the market you know some are smaller some are bigger some have more features less features more amps less amps so it just depends on what you need it for uh, for for me I think this particular one was uh, was pretty good because it included a lot of features that I needed a lot of features that I wanted it did have some certain things that I, I didn't really have a use for but for the price for the the size the weight and everything uh, it was a, it was a winner for me especially with the fact that I could charge it just using an extension cord you know I didn't have to purchase anything else to be able to, to charge it and and you know make it ready to go so let me know if you guys have any questions uh, oh one last thing this was actually purchased at BJ's um, you know which is uh, one of the you know places like Costco and and you know one of those uh, places where you uh, purchase like food by bulk and stuff like that so that's where I purchased that one but you know any of the uh, big retailers Walmart um, Home Depot uh, um, Lowe's, any of those places will probably carry these as well. So go ahead and check them out. Like I said, it's an invaluable tool that everybody should have, especially in your vehicle. Uh, if you own a boat, a motorhome, or even just at home, you know, it's it's always good to have that because uh, there's a lot of those features on there that, you know, you, you would need them, but you don't, don't normally know when they're going to be needed. So it's always good to have it just in case. All right, guys. Thanks.